morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Art 196, Introduction to Designing Web, uh, web Graphics um, for the Fall Semester 2021. Um, we're continuing today. We left off a week ago, Tuesday, on um, adding a drop down menu to our navigation bar. And in addition to that, targeting specific elements on a page. So let me review a little bit and then we will um, finish up. Um, one of the first things that we did with the, the nav bar in order to be able to edit it is that remember that it was generated in a template and template, that's the only place that um, it can be edited. I can't edit it in any other page. To add the drop down menu, though, what we had to do is save a child page inside our template folder and uh, rename it. So I named it drop down. And then, in order to be able to edit the elements in the nav bar, we had to go to. Um, let me go ahead and look at the template right now so I could show you where to do that. So here's our template, and I don't want to actually complete this, but what we would have to do is go from live view to design view. Okay. And then what we can do is that we could go to tools and we can go to templates. And then what we could do is it says detach from template. Okay. But um, because this is the template, you can't detach from it. But I could go ahead and I could select another page. Um, let's do this one then. And let's switch from Y view to design view. And then let's go to tools and let's go to templates. And then you can see detach from template. And then once it's detached from the template, you can go ahead and we can edit the nav bar, which is what we did. Well, one of, the, one of the things that we did is that we made sure that it was fixed to the top. And so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and select in here. I want to select the, um, oh, remember, see, I can't select it because I'm in another page. So let's go back to our drop down, the one we just created. Um, I'll go ahead and select it. <clears throat> and then um, make sure that I have it selected. I have div container fluid. At, I want to select the nav itself. Okay. And then I'm going to hit Command T to edit the um, um, to edit it. And then you'll remember if you recall we had nav class nav bar nav default. And what we wanted to add was nav bar hyphen fixed hyphen top. Okay, the top was added afterwards. Okay, um, so that it's the nav bar fixed top, so that it's always fixed. That when you scroll down to the bottom of the page, it remains always at the top of the page, no matter where you are on that page. That's useful for the user, um, so that they don't have to scroll all the way back up to the top of the page to um, navigate through your website. That's important. Okay. So we'll get rid of that. Then we were able to um, highlight each of these elements and go back and in, into the, the nav bar and we were able to link them to specific pages. In order for this to work, remember what I said is that I, I don't have in here, um, when we publish this, I don't have um, <clears throat> a, uh, um, what do I don't have? I don't have um, an index.html, and I will need that in order to publish it. Okay, and I can do that. I'll do that on a separate day. So you can pick one of the pages. Doesn't matter which one. I happen to choose the um, about page, about us, and save that as index.html. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Then in addition to that, make sure that we go ahead and link each of these to their appropriate page. Um, that can be done either from here. Notice that as I highlight it, I can apply the link or I can, as I highlight the text, I can come down 
to the link tab. And the easiest way to do that is to click and to drag to the appropriate, um, let's see, this one is green news. So just make sure that um, it, it is pointed to um, green news. Now, I don't want to look at the finished ones. And I'm having trouble with my, let's go ahead here. Events finished, where's green news? There it is right there. So I have a hard time seeing here. So again, with it highlighted, green news, and you do this for each of these. Highlight, and then you can either target it, which I prefer. So just go back in here and target news. And it gives that internal um, relative link here. Okay, so that's what's needed. Then what we did is we also created um, links to go to the top of the page. So to do that, we just simply added after the, um, the table, we added a, um, a paragraph tag. We created a new class for that, which was .ctr for center. And I may have misspoken um, that I said that when I created the, um, the class for that, that I used um, Bootstrap, Green Styles, um, our local one is just fine. And so that was here. So if I click here to .ctr, there is the center. And then there's only two things that we had to do for that class. Um, we added margins to the top, so it pushed it down a little bit, and we made sure that the text was centered. And then once we were done, <clears throat> um, you highlight the text. And because it's an internal um, link, we want it to go to the, the top of the page. So you just highlight it and you put in down here, um, hashtag or Octothorpe, whatever you want to call it, um, top, T-O-P, so that when you click on it, it will go to the top of the page. Now, in addition to that, we will go to another page shortly and we will link to specific parts of the page. Um, and the same for this one. This one worked just as well. And again, you can copy and paste, or you can, you know, go work from scratch and put them in there. Another way to create the links that, for example, we wanted in, in our drop-down menu, once we added that, I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to hide live view options and click down here. And if I highlight in here events schedule, um, what we can do is the target the specific one, remember we, we named um, each of the, the, the tables, um, we had their own um, ID assigned to them. The top one was calendar. So that's hashtag calendar. And you can see that I have um, att attached to that. It goes to the events page when you click on that link. And specifically, it will go to to the top of the page to go to the calendar. And then if for the classes at the bottom, I added the ID for that as well. So how you add the IDs to each of these tables is you just click in here anywhere. Come on, make sure that I'm in the down, there we go. Let's click, oh, come on, go to design view, go back to live view and click anywhere inside a table. It's giving me problems now. Okay, let me switch back to design view. Click inside the table. There we go. And then once it's selected, then use the tag selector at the bottom of the page. And I want to make sure that not the article not the section, but I want the table to be selected. And then down here, you'll notice that I have a class selected 
or created and it should be um, hashtag that would be over here calendar so that's where that is and then the one at the bottom is classes now if i go back to design view and hopefully this doesn't give me fits again let's go down to the bottom of the page and check that out again so i just need to click inside here come on um let me try select the table oh it's giving me fits let me go ahead here Make sure everything is saved. And we're good to go. It's giving me problems. So what I want to do now, this is the last thing that we have to do before so that we can update all of our pages with the changes that we've made to the nav bar. So what I want to make sure that I do is I click in here inside the nav bar. You know what, I might have to just quit Dreamweaver and open it back up and make sure everything is okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to quit Dreamweaver and open it back up, okay? Okay, so um, what I wanna make sure that I do is I select the entire nav bar. This is in the um, drop down HTML that we created. So I'm going to come down here to our tag selector and click where it says nav. There you go. So it's all highlighted. And what I want to do is all of the, the code inside the nav bar in the code view, I want to copy because that now contains the links to our other pages, but more importantly, it contains um, the drop-down menu that we created, okay? And here is that drop-down menu with the links that I've added. And hopefully this is working correctly right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, pull this up a little bit more, make sure that I select the whole thing. So I don't want the div, I just want all of the nav. I like all of that. Um, there we go. So there's a closing tag of the nav bar. So I'm gonna copy all of that, okay? Now what I need to do is I need to go back to the <clears throat> my green template, okay? And let's do the same thing. I'm gonna click in here, make sure that the entire nav is selected, okay? And what I want to do is that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to paste to replace what I had there. And it's not working, it's because I did it wrong. I'm gonna come down to the nav bar here and make sure that it's all highlighted. There we go, there's the closing tag. And let's go ahead and paste it in there. And now, if I update this, if I switch back to live view, you'll notice that it changed. I now have in my template, I have that drop down menu. And it, you'll also notice that the nav bar is fixed to the top. And you can see that with a little asterisk at the top of the page here that changes have been made. And now I'm going to cross my fingers and I'm going to save all or just save to start with. Okay. And you'll see that all of the pages, the child pages that were generated from that template are now requesting, do they want to be updated? And the answer is yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and update all. And when that's done, I can close. And now let's go to one of our other pages. Let's go to events, for example. And let's switch from design view to live view. And you can see that it's been updated. It wasn't that way before. I can go to the contact us page. And again, if I switch for to live view, it has been updated. So all the pages, even if they're open or they're closed, have, have all been updated. 
Bruce, um, a couple more things that we want to add. Now, uh, one of the things that I also forgot to mention that we covered last week or before is adding email links. Um, remember, that's simply, um, you know, highlight the text that you want, and then in the link below, type in mail to colon, and then the email address, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, what I want to do now is to show you how we can specifically target or target specific areas of a page. So for example, we have under education and events <clears throat> under um, contact us.html. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that page is saved. Um, what I want to do is where it says events, I'm going to change that to a link. And I'm going to link it to, or it's a relative link because it's linked inside our own website. And um, I'm going to make sure that I have files selected here. Okay, so let me go back again because now it's not highlighted anymore. Let's go to events. Okay, so that's highlighted. And where we have the link, I'm going to link that to the calendar. So, but first I'm going to link it to the events page. And you can see that it's been added down here. But then what I want to do to be more specific because I added the ID to that calendar. I'm going to go ahead and put in the hashtag and put in calendar. Okay. Hit the return key and that should fix that. Now to um, link to the, um, the classes, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to highlight that. Now, if I want to, I can add the link here. So I can do that and I can put it in by hand, but I prefer not putting it in by hand. I prefer using the target. So again, this is going to go to the events page. Then what I want to do is put in right after it, put in um, classes, hashtag classes. There we go, hit the return key. And that should fix that. Notice that I've added these links. Notice that I have the email links here. And I'm going to go ahead and save the page. Now let's go ahead and give all of this a try. Okay, So this is as good a page as any to give it a, a test. It's been saved. It's been updated. Um, if I've changed any of the, the CSS on our page, make sure that I say save all. And we're good to go. So let's go ahead. Here's the events working file. I'm going to go ahead and save that. OK, so let's go back. Um, I'm going to switch from design view to live view on all of these. Let's go to the contact us page and let's give this a whirl. I'm going to go ahead and with this page selected, I'm going to go ahead and go to file. And I'm going to say real time preview. And I'll select Firefox. And I hope everybody can see this. If they can't, I'm going to switch back. Here we go. So here's what it looks like. Now, this is a good time to test. So I'm going to go ahead and if I click events, notice that it went to the events page. Let's go back. Um, just go backwards. Now let's also click down here and let's go to classes. Notice that it dropped all the way down to the classes. Let's test, um, go to top, and it went to the top of the page. Okay, we can go down to the bottom one and click again, it went to the top of the page. Now, a problem that I see here is that this is not opening up with I had the drop down menu. So this doesn't have the events page. So something got screwed up here. So let's go back and let's click here and click on event schedule. So the events page did not get updated for some reason. So, um, and I can see looking here, here's the events page. There's a little asterisk that I wanna make sure that that's saved. Come on. 
There we go. So let's try this again. This has now been saved. So I'm going to do again. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go Real-Time Preview, and go back to Firefox. OK, so now the events page is here. Notice that it has a drop down menu. I can even go to class schedule from here and notice that it drops down to the bottom of the page. That's pretty cool. It should take me to all the other pages, too. If I click here, it take, goes into Green News. If I click here, it takes me to About Us. We don't have anything yet for Green Travel. That's Lesson 12. If I click on Green Tips, it takes me to the Green Tips page. If I go to the Contact Us page, it drops there. If I go to About Us, it goes back there. So, so far, everything seems to be working beautifully. We're in good shape. OK. Not bad for a day's work. Everything seems to be working very smoothly. So making sure that I save everything. <clears throat> making sure that um, you know you just go step by step over all the, the various parts um, <clears throat> of the lesson and um, double check to make sure that it's accurate. And then we're set to go. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. And let's go back up again, and check. So I have a number of these files that are open, okay? So I have the drop down that I'm just going to leave alone. Um, probably one of the last things that we should, well, let me go open it back up. Let's go back into templates and let's go to drop down. OK, so when we were working with the nav bar, um, the hardest part I thought was styling the um, the drop down itself. And one of the things that you have to remember to do when you're doing that is to be able to open it up. So you select hide live view displays and you click open. And now that it's open in order to make sure that the background is styled for that, um, what we had to do is we had to go up here and we had to freeze JavaScript for the time being. Okay, and with that frozen, then we were able to go back in and we were able to um, change what we needed. So if I go back to CSS Designer and I scroll down to the bottom here, let's make sure that I have green style selected. We can go back down and let's find it. Yeah, we have Trop. We have the top drop down menu. We have that was for the A link. And you can see if I say show set, we had added the padding all to the top, bottom, left, and right. Um, we added, changed the color of the text. We were able to do that. Here's also top here for the padding. Okay. And that we have here visited and that was an important one so that the back ground was the gradient actually it was a solid color but everything else is working just beautifully okay so i can turn off show set we can come back over here and now what i can do is i can unfreeze i can also go ahead and let's go ahead and close that now let's go back here and um hide live view displays so that it shows the way it's supposed to. But anytime you want to see any drop down menus or anything like that, um, what you have to do is click here and where it says hide live view displays, click on that. And now it allows me to engage in each of these and try them out. And then, but you have to remember then to go back again and to turn that off. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, you are welcome to publish lesson 11. Okay. Um, if you want to wait until you complete lesson 12, you can do that. Um, 
but I caution you waiting to the last minute to publish the last le lessons is because that some of you had difficulty publishing your Moby Rise website. Um, and some of you uh, had also difficulty publishing lesson seven. Um, in order to get credit for these lessons, you need to make sure that they are published and that you email me with the link to that. And I'm assuming most of you are using um, infinityfree.net to publish that. Now, one of the things I'll, I'll give you a little um, hint here, or not hint, but just a reminder, I guess, is that when you're publishing lesson 11, you have to remember that in the all the files, you, um, you don't publish the template, okay? But you do need to upload all of the pages. So in addition to what you had done before with lesson seven, which was make sure that you publish the CSS, the, um, the fonts, images, JavaScript, and the index.html, that's all you needed. But now remember that you are going to need to publish tips, um, the tips page, the news page, um, in addition to the green styles and fonts and that sort of thing. Um, you're going to also need to publish the events, H, um, HTML, and the contact us and the about HTML. But then, as I said, in order for your page to load properly, you need an index.html. So you need to select one of these pages. Okay, so here's the about page. And everything is working here. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to say save as. And make sure that it's saved in the correct root folder. And I'm not going to name it about us. I'm going to name it index.html. So I really kind of duplicated it. Normally, you wouldn't have duplicates. But because these are the lessons, that's what, what we're kind of forced to do. And again, my root folder is lesson 11. Make sure that um, you have updated your lesson that your root folder is lesson 11 and that all the contents within that is in lesson 11 when you publish it and test it because if it doesn't work, um, maybe the page uploads, the content loads, but the styles don't appear. Um, and that means that the styles that you were viewing um, while you were working on it were probably linked to another folder and that it hasn't been properly been updated. So again, as another reminder, while you're working on this, you need to um, go to site, manage sites, okay? Remember the my site name was for the spring 2021. If I double click on it, the, the root folder right here goes to lesson 11. That's the root folder, okay? Then in addition to that, I'm going to go ahead and move this over like so. Um, I can go ahead and cancel that because I've already done it. But then under advanced settings, under local info, click this folder now for a default image folder. And then this one needs to make, you need to make sure that it too, let me go back to, it's in the correct, it's in an image, it's linked to an image folder, but I need to make sure that it's linked to the one inside lesson 11. So I'm going to make sure that, and if you're not sure, you know, you can select all of these. Here's all of my lessons. Let's make sure that lesson 11 is selected. Double click, open it up, and make sure that the image folder is selected inside that and click choose okay and it updates everything and we're set to go okay so now i have an index.html so you're going to remember uh, it doesn't hurt to repeat that everything in my root folder the about us html the contact us html the css folder now, this is the bootstrap CSS, so that needs to go in there. The events, HTML, 
I have a separate events working file that you will not need. You don't need to publish the finished files, but you do need to publish the fonts, the green style CSS, the image folder, the index.html that we just created from the about us HTML, the JavaScript folder, the news.html, and the tips.html, and then you're set to go. So test it and make sure that when you publish it, you go to your um, website the free um, with the free host that you created with infinity um, free.net and test all of it to make sure that it works. And if you have difficulty with any of it, please contact me um, by email and we can set up either during class, during the webinar that we have, um, uh, the webinars that we have on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or if you need a specific time um, that's outside of these, these um, webinar hours, um, we can set up a time and troubleshoot. And it's most of the time that I found, it's pretty easy to fix. Okay. So that's really all that we have for today. Um, on Thursday, I will be starting lesson 12. And that will not take us that long. So if, um, if there aren't any questions, I'm going to say goodbye for today. And we are done. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. And then um, say goodbye. Okay.